We're on our way to the Mist Trail. We're backpacking to Little Yosemite this morning. Faith and safety. 4.3 miles. We're about 17 minutes in from the Miss Trail. It's a workout, but it's pretty cool because we're passing on the day hikers. As you can see, there's no one behind us. So we're just. Our motto is just slow and steady. And we'll get there when we get there. Yosemite. Beautiful. Hey, bear. Don't come this way. camping area. Let's go. Mm, this is gonna be so good. Them out. It was already that evening when we kicked them out. Like about right now. It was bomb, huh? It was bomb.
The battery's gonna die on the stabilizer. She'll be coming around the mountains when she comes. Baby will come in, will be coming around the mountain. They'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. They'll be. She'll be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we had to change the tie rod on this car. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, all the way, all the way up here. Yep. All right, that's enough. Thank you. Amazing. We did it. Oh, what's up, kid? Be careful going down. <laughs> Yeah, that, that must have been a massive fire too, right? Both ways, okay? A little bit the other way and a little bit the other way. Okay, stop. <laughs> Hello. We're here at the Merced River. Off really close to where we're camping at, little Yosemite Valley, where the backpackers camp and all that. Um, we just got back from doing cloud rest. It was a long day, seven hour trip. Oh, we left at eight, we got back like around three. Four hours to get up there. We were up there for like 50 minutes and then it took us like two hours and 10 minutes to come down. So that was pretty cool. We made it, I guess, for the time. Super hard, it's uphill all the way all the way then it's downhill all the way so i've been dipping my feet and my knees into the cold river so nice 
now it's time for a self-reflection. <laughs> um, coming up like yesterday was really hard, and then today was also really hard. And yeah, so tomorrow we go back down to the valley. So before coming on the trip, I was really doubting it, and probably low key and releases too, but she won't say it. And mm, then no, I just had no doubt. But then again, every time I thought about it, it was all my idea. I got us the permits and everything, and I'm the one who told Annalise what well, my plan was to, to backpack up here from the valley, come to Little Yosemite Valley and backpack, spend the night, uh, and then next day go to Cloud's Rest, 10 mile round trip, and then spend the night again, and then tomorrow go back down to the valley. And spend the night again. Yeah, and then spend the night again. So yeah. Um, I'm glad I did it. Every time I'm going up the mountain, I'm always like, why did I say yes to this? This is so hard, I don't wanna do it. But it's like the moment when you're like on the summit, it's like, oh, this is why I did it. And then the way back down, you just feel so good. You just feel like so accomplished. Um, it's still like a trek all in its own, but it's also like just really fun knowing that you did like the hard part which is like when your body is like exhausting itself to like get you up to where you want to be the way down is just watching your step and not like getting hurt um but yeah i drink a lot of water today um and this was a good pacer she's always a good pacer <laughs> and then our other thought is that we need a new <laughs> filter easier way to filter water because all we have is like the mini sawyer filter and uh, it takes us a while hours <laughs> not hours an hour um but we bought that thing like right before coming over here two um, days before so i think it's helped um i mean it helped versus the little 160 ounce little bag that we had um <laughs> But then this days. one I think is for uh, the hanging ones that like auto filter itself by gravity. But we've been squeezing it and all that, <laughs> and we already made a few holes in it. So yeah, we need to figure out what we're gonna do next. Um, I hope <laughs> my voice is recording because I had this on mute. That would really suck if I just talked for three minutes. <laughs> it would be so funny. <laughs> and nothing recorded. Oh, but find out. check gonna, out the view. We're gonna find out. Super tall trees for days. Amazing weather. Last night was cold, but I think we had the right gear to keep us warm. I was like warm inside my tent, inside my sleeping bag the whole night. Um, I had to put on my down in the middle of the night. I got a little chill. Yeah. yeah. Once I put that on, I was. Uh, yeah, she was set. Um, weather's been good. I did see tomorrow. Uh, next week's gonna be way hotter, even up here. But I mean, we had really good weather. No complaints. No rain. Nice. Here's the rest of our view around here, around the beach. So this is the Merced River. It goes all the way down to the valley, which we swam in and all that before. And super super fun. And a huge shout out to my left knee. It's been bugging me since before the weekend. Today's Wednesday and it's gotten me up here, it got me up to cloud dress and it will get me down tomorrow. So shout out to my knee. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Bye. Okay, so we're here at Little Yosemite Village. No, Little Yosemite Valley. Uh, we hiked up from the valley, the Happy Isles Trail, up to here yesterday, and that was around five miles. Um, 
and then this is the campground here, uh, Little Yosemite, Yosemite Valley, and then here people usually hike here if, if they're either like starting the JMT or if they're going to do Half Dome or even like Cloud Dress or if they're going to continue on, yeah, to any other part of the trails that are around here. Um, but it's pretty cool. A very communal, we have bear boxes, so that's like a huge plus. Um, bathrooms too, pit toilets, you just walk down that way and we get there. Um, yeah. Um, let me show you around. You want me to eat it? <laughs> Here we have random leaves. Do that jump spot. Our backpacks don't have any food, so we're not worried about that. Um, we haven't seen any bears. Hopefully we don't see any, and if we do, hopefully it's far away. Um, so it's just a lot of the, like... Like they dumped a lot of like trees or something, but basically it's what divides the campground up. We're here at the one of the spots here. We can't camp past that. But you can see the bear boxes here. New neighbors behind that half dome right there. So it's like three and a half miles from here, I think, to get to the top and back. So it's a good spot if you don't want to do it all the way from the valley. Then you have neighbors down there. Back here, I think there's other campgrounds, other little camp locations, but it's supposed to be very communal, and I can definitely see this being really crowded in summer. Um, ranger station, somewhere down there. So there's a ranger nearby, so that's cool. Um, what else? Anyways, here. the pathway to the bathroom. You can't really see it. It's around there. I'm going to take you down right now. It's already sunset. Uh, I don't know what time it is. It's 6.20 p.m. right now. Heard someone yelling. I'm not sure what that means. But I know he's someone yelling. Um, last night, you know, dark like close to nine. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna take you all the way to the bathroom, but. Show you from out here. So it's a huge plus that we don't have to like go in like a cat hole and have to poop pee in there. Um, we used it when we did Half Dome two years ago, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so the valley's that way. Continue on. Um, more campgrounds. And then the path that way takes you down to the river, which I th we shot a video of earlier. Okay, that's been our tour. So we were at our camp and I at least noticed this big fat tree. I was telling her the Mariposa Grove at the entrance of Yosemite, like an hour out, has big old trees like this. Look how fat it is. Here's my finger for size. <laughs> Where are you, Annalise? Walk around. The tree? Wow, look at her coming out. It's huge. <laughs> so this morning, uh, we were starting our hike. We went out this way. Oh no, we went out this way. And then we were wondering like how, like where the peak was gonna be. But I honestly thought it was gonna be like around that mountain or something. And I thought it was gonna be shorter. And then Annalise is like, is that where we're going? And then for some reason, cause I know how to estimate elevation and, and uh, altitude that I was like, no, I don't think it's that one. That's where we ended up. <laughs> Let's check it out. We were up 
there today. So crazy. Sample that. Okay, because this on the side right here, that must have been where we were like, oh, we almost made it. You see right over there? Good morning, we're on our way back to the, the valley. valley. We're all packed up, ready to go. She got Annalise's pack. Keep, here, keep vlogging, I can get you. It's been a fun time, five miles back down. Here, hold it, like that. I don't know why my pack looks so heavy, but I'll figure it out. Connie wants to be seen. Also, big pet. It's because we like to sleep together. We don't want separate tents. But uh, it is what it is. One time. Yeah. What? Cool. So when we came up, we came up this way. Um, it was. 2.5 like 4 miles um, What trail is it? The Mist Trail And right now it's only one way Because of COVID and all that So way down that way The JMT Trail So now we have 4 miles To get back down Yay
Okay, we just finished. I'm amped. I'm like running. Here. We just finished. We ran down the last mile. Yeah. Oh well. On the left. And then, um, the JMT, we're done with our hike. And then we're allowed to stay here at Upper Pines for one night because we're backpackers. So we're allowed to stay here an extra night. So normally right now, this place would be so packed with families and all that. But today, uh, very minimal people. We picked this clear opening because our goal tonight is to see stars. That's the goal. All right, we're gonna set up. That's the one we have, huh? Mm -hmm. Pretty tiny. <laughs> it is tiny, but we shut our own. Oh, yeah. No, it's the exact same one. We're here on the river. Finally got our beers. Celebrate some beers.